Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice number theory problem. We have a factorial plus b factorial plus c factorial equals 2 to the power n. a, b, c, and n are positive integers. So we're going to be looking for a, b, c, and n values. So let's go ahead and look at this problem from an inequality perspective. So let's see. We can assume without loss of generality, the blog thing, that A is less than or equal to B and B is less than or equal to C. This wouldn't matter because A, B, C are interchangeable, so you can pretty much assume uh, that one of them is less than or equal to the other. Now, in this case, we run into an interesting situation. If A, which is the smallest one, by the way, if A is 3 or greater than 3, then our sum, since a is the smallest, obviously anything greater than a factorial is going to be divisible by 3. So everything here is going to be divisible by 3. Think about it. Like you have something like 3 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 5 factorial. All of these contain a 3. Therefore, the sum is a multiple of 3. So a factorial plus b factorial plus c factorial is going to be like a multiple of 3. But 2 to the power n cannot equal a multiple of 3, obviously, right, for certain reasons. Therefore, we can't have a greater than or equal to 3. Okay? So what are we supposed to do? We have to assume that a is less than 3. The only uh, way to overcome this issue. So that means a is either 1 or 2, since we're looking for positive integer solutions. So let's look at it case by case. Suppose this is the first case and this is the second case. First case a equals 1. In this case, our equation turns into a factorial plus b factorial plus c factorial equals 2 to the power n. Now, notice that if b is greater than or equal to 2, then c is also going to be greater than or equal to 2 because c is greater than or equal to b, remember. Then we're going to get something interesting. Both of these are going to be even. And when you add the 1, you're going to get an odd number. So, 1 plus b factorial plus c factorial is going to be odd. And 2 to the power n is going to be even. We can't have this. So, basically, b is greater than or equal to 2 is causing problems. We have to go with b is less than 2 for this reason. Okay? So, b is less than 2, which is nice because that only gives us b equals 1. Right? So, when you replace b with 1, and remember, we're still working under a equals 1. So this indicates something nice. 1 plus 1, 2, plus c factorial equals 2 to the power n. This can be easily solved by, you know, substitution. For example, if c is equal to 1, then you don't have any solutions. If c is equal to 2, 2 plus 2 factorial is 4. This means n equals 2. If c is 3, 3 factorial is 6. 2 plus 6 equals 8. That means n equals 3. Great, so now we got some solutions because remember, a was equal to 1 and b was equal to 1 because b must be less than 2. So we get 1, 1, 2 and 1, 1, 3. Of course, they could also interchange at the end. We're going to talk about it. But for now, uh, based on our assumption, these are going to be the solutions for a equals 1. And remember, we have two cases. So we have to look at the second case now, which is a equals 2. Awesome. Remember the original problem? a factorial plus b factorial plus c factorial equals 2 to the power n. Now, if a is equal to 2, then we get 2 factorial plus b factorial plus c factorial equals 2 to the power n. Great. So we can kind of test some smaller values of n, such as n equals 1. It's going to give us b factorial because n 2 to the power 1 is 2. b factorial plus c factorial equals 0. Uh-oh. That's not going to work. All right. So now, what do we do? n equals 1 did not work. Can we try a value for b? How about using b equals 2? Well, if b is equal to 2, then we get 2 plus 2, which is 4. So that's kind of nice. And this is going to give us 4 plus c factorial equals 2 to the power n. Now, from here, we can test the c values. For example, if c is equal to 2, 
then we're going to get 4 plus 2, which is 6, but 6 cannot equal 2 to the n. If c is equal to 3, 4 plus 6, 3 factorial is 10. 10 does not equal 2 to the power n. So c must be greater than or equal to 4. Now, here's the thing. If c is greater than or equal to 4, then we get the following. Let's go ahead and write our equation. We got... So I'm going to use this. C factorial is 2 to the n minus 4, which I'm going to write as 2 to the power n minus 2 squared. Since c is greater or equal to 4, that's a minimum of 4 factorial. That's like 24. So we can basically divide both sides by 2 squared, which is 4. And this is still going to be an integer. So I'm dividing both sides by 4. And that's going to give me 2 to the power n minus 2 minus 1. Because 2 to the power n divided by 4 is 2 to the power n divided by 2 squared, and that is 2 to the power n minus 2. And here we run into another interesting problem. This is going to be odd, and this is still going to be even. Why? Because c is at least 4, and even when it's the smallest, c factorial divided by 4 is still going to be even. So this can't be happening, right? So we have an issue here, and b equals 2 did not work. So we're going to try the next b value, b equals 3. Okay, now what happens if b is equal to 3? Now if b is equal to 3, remember our equation, 4 plus c factorial, but this time we have to replace b with 3. So let me go back here, 2 plus b factorial plus c factorial is equal to 2 to the n. And remember, a is 2 in this case, because we're looking at the second case, remember? So, from here, if b is 3, 3 factorial is 6, 2 plus 6 is 8, 8 plus c factorial equals 2 to the n. Let's see, c equals 3 is going to give us 2 to the power n equals 14. Uh-oh, that's not good. c equals 4 is going to give us 4 factorial is 24, 8 plus 24 is 32, 2 to the n equals 32, and yay, we get n equals 5. That's kind of cool. And c equals 5 is going to give us 2 to the n equals 8 plus 5 factorial is 128 plus 120 equals 128. And that means n equals 7. Great. So we got two values for c equals 4 and c equals 5. c equals 3 did not work for b equals 3 and a equals 2. Okay, great. <laughs> so that gave us uh, some values. Now what happens, this is the most interesting part in my opinion, if c is greater than or equal to 6. Okay, if c is greater than or equal to 6, and for n, remember, we tried, we tried some values for n, it didn't work, right? So what happens if n is greater than 5? So we're going to get the following equation. Remember, our equation was 8 plus c factorial equals 2 to the n for b equals 3, right? And now in this case, we get something interesting. If c is greater than or equal to 6, then 8 plus c factorial, in this case, is going to congruent to 8 mod 16. Why am I looking at it mod 16? Because 8 is 8 mod 16, so I'm going to have a remainder. And from 2 to the power n, since n is greater than 5, then I'm going to get 2 to the power n is congruent to 0 mod 16 because 2 to the n is always going to be divisible by 16. And again, we don't have any solutions from here. No solutions. So to conclude, we're going to have the following solutions. But I'm going to write them as sets so that you can see that a, b, c are interchangeable. So 1, 1, 3, is a solution set works a b c are interchangeable or we can have one one two or we can have two three four and those values are basically coming from the fact that c can be four or five when b is three and then we have the next one is going to be this is two three four by the way in case you can read it and two three five is going to be the last one so a total of four solutions and this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.